Hello everyone, this is Yashi Gamer Girl, and welcome back for more Spyro Ripto's Rage. Last time we went to the overworld of Autumn Plains and went back to Sunny Beach and Glimmer and of course uh, Summer Forest. This time we're actually going to go in a level in this in this world. So we got the rest of the treasure pretty much and paid money bags a whole bunch of money just to open other levels <sighs> why oh my oh uh, well can you can you hit it can you hit it oh boy i don't think that bird liked him trying to hit the other birds and such oh well at least he swallowed it Properly, I guess that was that was really weird, though. Okay, hi. Okay, Spyro. Kind of blub. Looks like we got us a bit of a situation here. The breeze builders have got us pinned down, and we've been waiting for a volunteer to blow up their munitions building. Looks like you're it. Oh, fun. So I'm dealing with explosives today. Oh yeah, and by the way, they're waiting for like like little um. See, it was waiting to swallow a little like missile thing and so we could like just eat it and such and that's that's not nice and did you see how how i got an extra life butterfly at one point yeah it's it's uh <laughs> it refilled my health and gave me another life but i still messed up but whatever you know it's, i killed it as just as the missile came down so yeah that uh that'll happen how thankfully those missile birds won't I don't think they'll drop missiles, so that's uh, while you're just waiting for them. No. No. Bad little bird. You're not welcome here. Alright, so... Now I have to... Yeah, I don't think they'll drop... The missile birds will drop any to harm you. I think they'll just drop them into the little bird things and with the flame or 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 they'll get low enough to see you and then you're gonna just flame them ow see what i mean meanie heads yeah so <laughs> i knew i wasn't gonna survive that that's why i um just kind of died there meanie birdies must go gotta go must go now i hate you all go away these birds are just the devils little devils just need to die. It, yes, they're naked, but honestly, if they're using the... Excuse me? Yeah, that's what I do to you. Come here, come here. Yeah, yeah, good boy. Good boy. Who's a good boy for dying? Who's a good boy for dying? The bird is. The bird is a good boy for dying. So yeah, if they don't have anything to like... Do. Hit you with. If they can't reach you, you gotta just wait. So that's that's kind of a thing. And you gotta like the the uh, close range birds are the ones you really have to worry about. But if they are close enough, they can hit you and such. So that's that's not good. I'm just trying to activate whatever power up new power up is uh, available in this one. So yeah, that's that's good. All right. Now I have to. I'm pretty sure the only way you can get this. Yeah. Okay, so as you notice, you can't necessarily flame things and or, and or they're too high or whatever, or you can't charge through them or use your fire thing. What do you do? Just ain't working for me. You think you can blast that bird, soldier? Jump up here and give it a try. All right, so here's the introduction of cannons. What you do is pretty much you just adjust it up or down depending like the height. This is how far it goes. They'll go more straight forward if you adjust it and more up and at an angle if you adjust it like more up and such. So I'm just trying to hit that bird. Alright, there's one of them. Now I have to get that thing because that's the only way that'll open. And then I have to hit this because I couldn't open it with my flame. Can I hit it? Sometimes I can hit the, the thing from here, but sometimes I can't. So I'm gonna go for that. 
Now, you can't necessarily hit the birds from here, but I think you, you don't necessarily have to. Oh, I got one. <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna do this until I hit both of them because I think I hit one, but I don't know the other um, Or I may have hit both of them. That's okay. All right, so let's go collect these gems. All right So what was I saying? Oh, yeah Trading card game. I'm not gonna talk about that this time. Guess what I'm gonna talk about this time Drawing. Oh my god, did I really miss a bird? Okay, meanie head bird got it. All right so, uh, drawings. I drew some things for my friend Dobi, Sephiroth 204 today. Whoa, not today. The other day. The other day, I drew, um, his original character, Clara, and, um, the yokai Komain, who was the evolved form of Komasan, for anyone who follows yokai watch um if you don't it's fine it's just it's a lot of my friends say it's like it's similar to pokemon and it plays similar to it but it's not it's not pokemons it, and the battle system is way different plus they have more punny names so you know <laughs> there's that and they have a decent anime yeah i get the point that they're trying to make it kind of as big as it but i think it's something else like, because one, they attack on their own, they only have like one or two attacks, like uh, an ultimate attack, and then like just a regular attack that they do otherwise, and it's, it's pretty nice actually. Uh, these guys, as you saw me fail a little, will hurt you, just blame them, don't run into them, otherwise they're, <laughs> the explosives will hurt and such, so that's, that's not nice. So yeah, I drew Claire and Kameen. Um, if you didn't hear the backstory of how Kameen got to Claire, I will tell you right now because I just made it up pretty much. My sentences were kind of awkward. I could tell in the um, in the like description that I gave it. So Clara, Dovey's original character, used to own like a white cat as a kid. And the reason I made up this story is because I wanted to sort of stay true to the uh, characteristic of what the yokai was. And the yokai, Komain, Komasan Komain, was, um, I looked at the description, it said, on a journey to find something and such. So I'm like, huh, how can I associate this with a, I mean, technically it says like white lion, white cat thing, but I'm just making a white cat for domesticated purposes. So I made it so it was, Clara used to own the, didn't own it, uh, she took care of a, a feral white cat when she was younger, and so what happened was her parents um, wanted to move, like she was, she was moving to a different place, I guess we could say it more near-ish, like say a military base, or maybe something like that. And so when Clara went to go try to find the feral cat to make it her permanent pet, she she had her parents help out. She looked all day, but she just couldn't find the cat, which was kind of sad because you did that bird just he couldn't hit me on the side, so the bullet just hit him and he and he died. <laughs> Oh, birds are stupid. Probably because they're still technically dinosaurs and such. Anyway, so Clara used to take care of a white feral cat, and it, she never found it before she moved. Obviously, her parents helped out, but they just couldn't find it. So, what happened was, I don't think I really gave that much of a backstory on the feral cat, but kind of, you know, I didn't give much of it, but... Pretty much the feral cat came back to her house. It was empty and I know this is kind of sad but it's also kind of not because you have to really think about it. The feral cat came back expecting to be fed, patted, loved, you know, because it did that every night with her. And unfortunately the cat just that night couldn't find Clara at all. So what did the cat do? It went in search for Clara 
but during its life alive, it couldn't find her for the rest of the years that it was alive. So it passed away, luckily of old age, it only passed away of old age, and it became Komasan. Komasan is a yokai who is constantly on a journey to either find someone or better itself or something. Uh, I'm going to explain more after this since I just did that. Oh, no, never mind. Uh, I thought there was going to be cutscene right away, and there wasn't. Okay, so we're good. So, the, the feral cat died, The um, but as Komasan, it kept looking for Clara because she just wanted to find her. It, it's, it's something that, that, you know, like sort of this loyalty thing. And when it finally, like, got to a place, obviously it kept looking even after death because it was still able to, finally heard that Clara had moved to another place and it found out where she was. And then because of that overjoyedness, Komasan knew that he had to find find her again. It evolved, which it does evolve. Uh, Komasan can evolve into Komain. It evolved out of happiness found a stray white kitten and then pretty much inspirited that so it would just go to her and like be your pet again and obviously it's going to just be a never-ending loop of white cats that's going to be with clara probably throughout her whole life it's kind of that thing it's it's sad yet not sad you know because now she kind of has a partner and she's never alone that's why i drew the the, the drawing like that anyway gotten too much wow, in backstory what an explosion Sure is a good thing I had my helmet on. Oh yeah, the colonel wanted me to give this talisman to you if you got through the breeze builder defenses. Good job, soldier. Good job, soldier. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> hey, Zephyr Talisman, it's a bomb. Go figure. <laughs> Alright, sorry about the long backstory, but I felt like I had to explain it a tiny bit more than I did on DeviantArt's because um, I also know Dovey watches this, <laughs> um, my channel, so I just explained it a little better than I did, than I didn't, or did, you know, it's cool. Anyway, here's an orb challenge. My name is Little Bo Peep, and I have lost my cowlicks. With these battles going on all the time, they keep running away. Can you help me get them back into my pen? Yes, get five calyx into the bin. What they don't tell you, I'm going to tell you right now, even though she won't actually tell you, that there are actually seven calyx. And you're like, oh yeah, there are five. Nope, wait, there are seven. Lol. And I'm like, oh, fine. You didn't tell us that beforehand. So that's, it's okay. I know where all of the calyx are. I just have to make sure okay i'm gonna go in this area i'm gonna just go past this guy because just trying to get rid of these things because i'm pretty sure there are birds wanting to feed the missiles and the stuff so you know i'm just trying to collect the gems and this is a different challenge in general so you know <laughs> it's another orb chop another orb challenge, but it's totally different than the Calyx thing. This, although this area does have Calyx, and that's why I came over here. See this Calyx over here? Yeah, it needs to go back to where it's supposed to go in the pen. I'm not going to activate Mr. Um, Professor Guy because that's not how you do it. Come on, little Calyx. So we're pretty much herding the cows all the way back to the pen. That's fun. I don't... I, I just want to... Um, to make it easier on editing and stuff, I'm just going to pretty much show you where all the cowlicks are. And then I'm just going to bring them back to the pen. Okay, hey. And I'm just going to bring them back to the pen. And by the way, they sound funny. Uh, you know what? They don't really look like cows in general. They just look like spotted elephants, honestly. Um, so I don't know why the, I guess they just invented the cowlick thing. Alright, so, he's going there, and he's standing there, that's good. Alright, I can hit him across. Whee! Good, he made it. Sometimes they don't make it, just because it just doesn't do it properly. Here's another cowlick. Alright, so I've shown you the two cowlicks in this area. 
I'm going to just herd them all the way back to when they're in the pasture because it's really long if I just don't show if I just show you the same way I herd them all and uh, it's it's kind of tedious so I'm just gonna cut to when I get them like in the pens and such. They are near the pen, but here's some more gems. Alright, here, here's the... See on the other side of this wall? Like, right over here? Yeah, that, that's where the pen is. That That's why it, I don't want to, like... I only stopped cutting here because I wanted to show you where the um, gem the gems were. Yeah, but I'll... I gotta get all these cowlicks in the pen, so... I'll be right back. Alright, so they're all in the pasture and all you have to do, so what you do to make them go pretty far is, you know, hit them like that. To make them go a very short distance, you just flame them. But right now I'm just trying to get them in the pen. All of them in the pen. Thankfully I gathered five of them nearby and I can just hit them in the pen. Hooray, if I can make it. Sometimes it's finicky, but that's okay because the pen is close by. So that's, that's fine. Alright. Whee! Alrighty. So, number five uh, is right here. Get! Get! Stupid cowlick. Nope! You have lost your cowlicks. There's your cowlicks. There you go. Five. Thanks, Spyro. Here's a little something. You know, all the effort. Thank you. I got an orb. There are two more cowlicks out there somewhere, but I haven't seen them in days. Yeah, so they, she's missing two more cowlicks. Thankfully, they have not wandered that far. Wanna know where they go? The stupid cowlicks have gone over here. Thought it would be a good idea to just wander a tiny bit further away. Ugh. These birds, man, they're killing me. Thankfully, I'm going to kill them before they kill me. Alright. And there's more gems over here. But, you know, that's kind of to be expected because we haven't been over here yet. Alright. Um, the cowlicks. There's one. I don't know if... Yeah. Both of them. One, two. There are two cowlicks here. How, and I bet you're wondering, hey, how do we get them up? Well, that's easy. There is a super thingy that you use to get them up, but I'm just trying to get the gems first because I think that's all of them. No, wait. There's some more gems up in higher areas. See this thing? This question mark thing will give you gems, but you have to go all the way through the level. But we're not here necessarily for gems right away. Um, all the gems. I'm just going to get the ones here, flame that thing, and then get the cow. So, hold on. Let me... You can actually aim your fireball, so that's pretty nice. Alright, so I'm gonna get that, but first I'm gonna flame these cowlicks. You flame the cowlicks and they go really high! Woo! And you can just fly high to the sky, man! But you have to be a little faster than what I'm trying to- Oh, maybe I can do that. Yep! Flame the cowlicks! Boom! Flame the cowlicks! Alright, so I think I'm about to run out because I can't really hear it because the TV's turned down. But I'm about to run out on that. But thankfully, the the only reason you had Super Flame was to flame them up to this third ledge. Because you can easily knock them off over here. Boom! They can fall! Yeah! And you just knock them off and then you go put them in the pen. So I'm just going to go get them near the pin and yeah, stuff like that. I got it! Here's the last one. Come on, little cowlick! Boom. Get in the pin. Get in the pin. Boom! Did it. Well, I am impressed. You got all seven cowlicks for me. Here's a fair reward. Alright, so you get another orb for doing so. That wasn't terrible. Alright, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go get that other... Oh, come on. 
I want that, thank you. I'm gonna go get that um, other pot and stuff. The pot with, excuse me, here it is. The pot with the question mark. These are pretty much, they scatter throughout the level. They pretty much make you go from all the way to the end of the level to all the way to the beginning. Isn't that fun? It's kind of like, do you remember where you were at this point in, in the level? sort of thing. They just make you travel. Yeah, I'm I, I'm I'm iffy about it. The the concept was okay. I guess they wanted you to just figure, oh hey, you know, how can I get there or such? And that's the beginning of the level. So obviously the beginning of the level is probably the last location that it's located. That's good. Because we don't want to travel anymore. And here are some more gems. I don't think that's all of them. Nope it's not. So there are still 50, I'm pretty sure it's 50. Yep, 50 left to be found in that last area where you get the the last two orbs. So that's, that's good. So I'll meet you back there real quick, one moment. All right, so here's the first part of the mission. You just talk to this guy. Right from yonder window breaks. That window up there, dummy. The professor said he was working on a way to help me get back with Juliet, but I haven't seen him in a long time. Hmm, so we have to go find the professor. This is Private Romeo. Gee, he's looking for his Juliet. It, Juliet is a bird? I don't understand why both of them, like, you know, are, I guess, attracted to each other. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, whatever works for you guys, I guess. <laughs> I'm just making sure that I didn't miss any gems that were like on level ground that I could actually acquire, but it looks like I can't. So here's the professor. Spyro, my boy, I've got a magic bean, uh, I mean seed, for you in here somewhere. Uh, here it is. Why don't you plant it in the ground and see what grows? Aiming the seed by holding down the triangle button will make this easier. Oh, and if you ever need your seed back, just flame the plant and it will turn back into a seed again. All right, so we plant scenes and we try to climb Juliet so we can furry her, you know. <laughs> Let's do this. This is for another orb, technically two, because there's like one way to do it and then there's another way and such. So you pretty much just aim and plant and boom, here you are. But the problem is about this, the only thing is about this mission specifically is that you have to always have like two things and such and I think you have to get on this by like jumping on it and it it just it just it, it sometimes causes me rage but other times it doesn't like I can't get up there but you know I have to just try Ugh. Alright, so was I talking about... Yeah, I think I told the backstory. Good. What else did I draw? I also drew Steven's character, Irene, and Blazion. Pretty much Blazion is a yokai that inspirates people to, like, get them motivated. So what you do is... You, as a Blazion is a yokai that is like, oh, you know, work, 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 and um, you also get very competitive also. So I'm just showing you the different ways you can like plant these seeds and stuff, but the problem is I'm trying to get that other seed. How am I getting that other seed? I always forget how I get the other seed. So you must, you must excuse me on this. I always have trouble figuring this out, but what I'm thinking is that I have to like jump on, on a certain location, see, the, see if you just playing that there, yeah, it's not, it's not. But first, when I plant it here, I can, oh, here it is, I am dumb, I can access the seed right here, silly me, and I also got a gem, so, you know, <laughs> that was smirt, you know, real smirt, so, yeah, you have to have all the seeds at once, <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? I, I always forget about that seed, honestly. So let me go back and get the other seed and then I will plant it and I'll show you what the concept is of this puzzle. All right, so now with this seed planted, what the dealio is, okay, you got another seed, go plant it there. So you can jump on this platform properly, Christy, properly. <laughs> uh, 
All right, and you pretty much keep getting the seeds as you go up, so you can keep continuously planting them, and uh, the aiming is sometimes difficult, sometimes not, depending on where it goes. Yeah, there we go. So you plant the seeds, you climb up, and you get to the other places. All right, so here the other seed is down there. Hold on, I must aim properly. Whee! Well, grow it through, and it makes a nice, lovely staircase. But those things can hurt you. So I'm gonna stop. Make sure I don't get hurt. Here's another seed. Hold on. Gotta get rid of this while I flame you. Um, Alright, so I am almost like halfway there. One second, I've gotta find the plant. Here it is. Whee! Alright, another platform that I must fly to. If you fall, <laughs> you have to start the, the level thing all over, and I hate doing that, honestly. It just seems, like, very wrong. Alright. So, obviously, if I fail, which I haven't done yet, thankfully, I will just retry it and such. Well done, my boy! So... Got two more seeds to get you the rest of the way. Oh, and take this with you if you don't mind. It's been cluttering up my pockets. Now, my question is, Professor, where do you get all these orbs? And you're just like, oh, yeah, I totally forgot. Like, I had one. I'm like, oh, really? So what you do, you don't plant one yet. You just pretty much go across first. Okay. Huh? Now? Hmm. Um, Okay, I think I get it. So, leave this here. Boop, and then take the other one. You just leave it there because you're going to just have the two um, seeds to get up to the final place. You don't plant it right away, otherwise you can't cross. Yeah, that, that also used to get me. I'm like, how am I supposed to get across if something's planted? Yeah, bring the seeds with you and then plant them. Goodness sakes. Jesus. Alright. So we're almost done here. Whee! And then there's this platform and then we get... Gimme up. Thank you. Hello. Romeo. Romeo. Wherefore art thou, Romeo? Oh, there's Romeo. You can have this. I don't need it anymore. Mm. Okay, hi. Apparently she didn't know that Romeo was just standing over there. You just couldn't fly to him beforehand. Just needed some guidance. I don't understand. Oh, I see some treasure down there that I need to get. Okay. Oh, hi! We're together again! I can't believe she just is like, Oh, I don't know where Romeo is. God. She should have just flown out and seen him. Birds. Obviously they don't have brains. Or big ones at all. No, no, they don't. They usually don't. Here's some more treasure. And it's just onesies. I'm still trying to find more. First, a little funny thing. Here. I'm gonna talk to Juliet. You've reunited me with Juliet. Or Romeo. Now we can take our honeymoon in Colossus Springs and see the idols. So they're just talking about, hey, we can see the idols. And this, 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 How this is funny. my Romeo. If he wasn't so short get married so wait first you talk about taking a honeymoon and then you're like oh you know if he wasn't so short we would get married so wait you're not getting married because he's short and you're still going on a honeymoon that makes absolutely no sense plot holes much you better believe it all right so i'm just trying to find the gems now and of course they're right here and i totally just forgot about them uh stupid me me. Um, did I miss one over there? Okay. So yeah, I probably just, I'm like, oh yeah, you totally just forgot to go back, Christy. Uh. And here it is. Because of course I missed a gem there. But I completed Zephyr. Sorry for that. <laughs> I'll meet you back at the end, and we can watch that little outro cutscene. Alright, cutscene time! What's he 
doing? Oh. <laughs> Food. Uh-oh. <laughs> Sorry, I should probably put a seizure warning for that about... My bad. I didn't. I forgot that that happened. But you know, I hope it wasn't that fast. Anyway, <sighs> we completed the level Zephyr. Yeah. Okay. So next time we're gonna go to Crystal Glacier. So until then, I'm Yashi Gamer Girl, and I will see you guys later. Yashi, huggles. <laughs>